This is a pretty crazy place. This is a, so this place used to make tape is what they did. It's huge. And so, yeah, this, did y'all walk inside this building? We walked inside the other one. This one is, it's huge. And basically it had a, a line that runs all the way the length of it that makes the tape. All the machines and stuff that they used, all that stuff's still in there. Uh, it's similar to this big building. It has the same type of, the same type of machinery or whatever. Yeah, all the machines. So you're scrapping all that? Yeah. You pull so it all out probably scrap a, it? So we're supposed to do, we priced every building out here. And we're supposed to do several more of those and then they we got started and they were like, oh, we're gonna try to save those. And they were like, can you take the equipment out and leave the building? And we were like, no. I mean, it's, it's junk. Yeah. So when we had the thousand year flood back in 2015, Gills Creek, which is right here, flooded. This whole plant flooded. When it flooded, that's when they shut it down. But they were, they had just built a brand new plant on the other side of town, which, so it kind of timed out. But a few, about 10 years before that, they had a boiler on the other end that exploded and killed one or two guys. The guy was on top of it and it exploded. It blew the lid all the way across the highway. And so then when it flooded, basically the thing became obsolete and they shut it down. And so it's been sitting here since 2015 empty. Wow. And we finally got a buyer for property. So we're taking down buildings one, two, and three. And then the subsequent buildings will get later. How do you get into this building? We can go around this way. It's kind of sketchy. Well, not sketchy. I it's like just, sketchy. It's just, no, it's fine. Like we've been all through it. Oh. It's just kind of creepy. Oh, yeah, a little spooky, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hold that handle. What handle? Underneath that yellow pipe. No. They stripped it all out. Yeah. You see, like, just cut it. All the conduit, you cut it. Wow. That's kind of creepy. Do you get all the scrap? Yeah. So they we, yeah, so we get all of the scrap out of this one. There, they said there was like a bunch, too. You cut that and pull the wire out of it. What's scrap worth right now? Feels pretty good, isn't it? Yes. I don't know what all this. This is like some kind of oven thing that cooked the tape or whatever. But well, you gotta, you gotta be pretty brave to go in there and just start cutting away. You know. See where it flooded, how it's all, everything's all rusted. In here. You guys are gonna be here a while. Yeah, I didn't realize how much steel was in here. And then when, because they bid this job way before. They, they bid it probably three or four times. And then, <laughs> you know, we bought the company and they finally let the contract go. It was my last year. 2001. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, hell yeah. That hard drive Check in this there. Thing out. It's the year I was born. <laughs> The Webmaster 2001. Look at that bad boy. Yeah. That's it right there. Yeah, we used to, you know, we bought we bought the company. I bet you we've got 200 fire extinguishers. Because when people leave a building, that's one thing they don't take. Yeah. They don't take the fire extinguisher. One of my good friends says does redevelopment work, so I would take them from his buildings in college and run around with them in my house. What? <laughs> and people would walk in my house and spray them with liquid nitrogen. Huh. Oh, like, wow, look at this. Yeah, can we film a music video in here? A music video? For yeah. what?
out here at a plant demolition project in Columbia, South Carolina. With demo, and maybe I've explained this before, it's all about separating materials. So as these guys knock the place down, they're taking the trash out, the drywall, the studs, anything that's just kind of garbage, and they're loading it out right behind us as we speak. They take the steel and separate it out, put it into piles. All this has a lot of scrap value, so all of this taken to a scrapyard and sold. The demolition contractor, contractor with today, Carolina Wrecking, they get to retain the value of the scrap. So this is really valuable. If you're sending it to the landfill, you're paying to send it to the landfill. This, they're paying you to take it. And then lastly, you have concrete brick, brick, asphalt. All of that is separated as well, hauled to a crushing facility, and it'll be crushed and sold as aggregate. So a majority of every single building does not go to the landfill. Majority of it is actually recycled because it's just good for business. So that's what we got.